gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome back to the channel, it is your boy Zell here, or welcome if you are new here, maybe you are, maybe you're not, we're here to do another Mass Effect gameplay video, a little let's play if you will, and uh, we're going to basically continue off from where we left off, okay, um, before we get started, you might be wondering why the camera is back to the webcam, uh, the people who have just watched the Mass Effect stuff, you won't notice any difference We're using the exact same quality, so that's fine. Um, but if you had watched the last two previous videos, you would have noticed I used a 4K camera, which I've been testing, and it's actually really, really good. The quality is immense. Definitely check out those reactions of Dying Light and the Unreal Engine 5 trailers um, on the channel. They're, they're awesome, and I would love your support on them. But uh, yeah, it's it's been very hot in the UK the last couple of days, so I haven't had a chance to play like a long format video or play a long format game. I just haven't been able to do it, um, which is which has sucked. Which has sucked. Uh, not only that, I've had the, obviously the camera trouble, uh, getting time off of work to actually record. We're here now. We're here now, and we are ready. Is the lighting good? I think so. Okay. So yeah, before we get started, I just wanted to mention, obviously, I try my best to go through all of the comments. Um, if you've left a comment on any of the Mass Effect videos right up until now, I have definitely at least read them uh, until there's been like a spoiler. At that point, I just switch off. I don't read it. Um, but I have I have read them. I may not have been able to reply to all of them. I may not have been able to acknowledge all of them either. There's just so many. So thank you so, so much. Um, but there's a few things I wanted to address. You see, I love you guys, right? Obviously, the Mass Effect community is insane, and I get that. And I get that a lot of you have come to this channel or come to these videos wanting to see a certain thing. Now, what you've got to remember is obviously this is my playthrough, okay? The choices I make are the choices that I wouldn't make if I wasn't recording. The order in which I do things would be the exact same order I would have done if I wasn't recording. At any point in this series, there is no point where I will be playing to the camera. There's just no point in it, right? I'm experiencing Mass Effect for the first time, um, and I kind of want to bring you along on that journey. Uh, and yes, some of the choices you agree with, some of the choices you might not agree with, but that's the way it's going to be, okay? Um, the other thing I wanted to address is more of an apology, I think, to you guys, a little bit of an apology, simply because... Mass Effect is my first RPG game. Now, I know what you're thinking, how the hell can this be your first RPG game? And what I mean by that is I'm used to RPG games by, let's say, Skyrim, for example, which, you know, grain of salt is nothing like Mass Effect. It just isn't. I'm not used to going around talking to every NPC to learn bits of lore that I otherwise wouldn't know. I kind of almost expect the game to hand that to me on a silver platter, and that's me being ignorant. So I do apologize. I am going to make a very much a conscious decision to speak to as many people as I can, go through as many side quests as I can, check out all the lore, everything, because in the end, I agree with what a lot of you guys are saying. It's going to build up this entire Mass Effect universe, which may not have been there if I am just playing for cutscene for cutscene. I feel like I've done a pretty good job so far of doing that, uh, of being pretty good with the lore and everything like that, but... I know that there are some small things I've missed, but again, this is how I would have played it even if the camera wasn't on. But let's get straight into this. So, uh, yeah, straight into Mass Effect 3. <laughs> the plan is again no main missions this gameplay. We're going to obviously visit different planets and do different things. I didn't realize that X57 was DLC, so thank you for pointing that out. That's obviously the reason why we've got some crazy. Some crazy weapons, some crazy weapons, um, which is good, which is good. Um, I know some of you have been saying that there's not much point in me playing on veteran. You might as well play on casual or normal because I'm not getting anything out of it. I disagree. Uh, I feel like I am getting a little bit more out of it. I'm, you know, I'm not just playing for the story and for the experience. I do want it to be a little bit of a challenge. And yeah, although like I'm not interested in achievements or anything like that. I never have been. I really don't care about them. So... For me just to play and have like a slight bit of a challenge, that's, that's what works for me. So I won't be dropping the difficulty. We might increase it a little bit simply because we now have these uh, this overpowered gear. Um, but before I do anything, someone did say, and I can't remember your name, but you'll know who I'm talking about if you hear this. Someone said a good way 
for me to sell my stuff is to equip all the stuff that I want or that I need, go to my party's items as well and equip them with everything that they need and then sell it. So go to the my party or my squad members lockers, equip everything high level that they need and then the rest I know is then junk and I can sell it, which makes a lot of sense makes an awful lot of sense so without further ado let me do that first of all i'm not going to bring you through that so be right back okay i think i've equipped everyone as they should so hopefully we should be looking good we should be looking good all right so as i've said um this is again going to be more of a free roam we might go back to the citadel because in the last episode we did get a strange request to go back to the citadel just to check out or speak to someone about a certain mission that wasn't to be discussed over an unsecure link. Um, oh, what's this? Asteroid X-57 has been brought under control. Once repairs are complete, the asteroid will be carefully maneuvered into geosynchronous, into geosynchronous orbit around Terra Nova. Though the Batarian terrorists have destroyed several months of work, experts predict it can still open for business before the end of 2184. Perfect. Good. All right, let's go to... Can I land on Terra Nova? Can we see that? No, we can't. Okay. Uh, Bore, can we do anything with that? This is the gas one. No, we can't do anything with that. That's fine. Tear, can we do anything with you? What is Tear? Oh yeah, this was the one that was similar to Earth, wasn't it? Nearly a hundred corpse, human and alien, have constructed extensive teleoperated mining, refining and manufacturing facilities across the face of Tyr. Combined with the platinum loads of Terra Nova, the resources they produce are driving development of the local hydrogen fuel cell industries. The Asgard system now supplies nearly 4% of the galactic market. That's a big number. That is a big number. Loki, are you anything to worry about? Loki is a small terrestrial world with little to recommend it. One hemisphere is largely covered by an ice cap and the other by craggy basaltic highlands. The rough, varied terrain suggests an ancient cataclysm caused significant damage to the world. This is seemingly reinforced by its unusually elliptical orbit, which reaches 6.5 AU at perigree and 7.1 AU at apogee. Penetrating scans of Loki's ice cap reveal a network of crisscrossing subterranean tunnels because some of the tunnels were surprisingly regular in shape and size. Early expeditions looked for evidence of excavation. It was concluded they formed by natural processes. Loki's thin atmosphere is mainly composed of krypton and xenon. When it approaches perigree, frozen sulfur trioxides and dioxides can evaporate into clouds on the hemisphere facing Asgard. Okay. Okay, so that's obviously as God. What's this? You oh, what the hell is hey, that about? Urgent message from Alliance Command coming in. I'll patch it through. Shepard, this is Admiral Hackett from Alliance Command. We've got a situation here, and you're the only one that can handle it. Uh huh. What do you need, Admiral? There's an Alliance training ground where we test weapons and technology and live fire simulations. One of the VIs we use to simulate enemy tactics in the drills is no longer responding to our override commands. It's gone rogue. That does sound, does sound like a problem, doesn't it? Are you telling me this computer is thinking on its own? We're not stupid, Shepard. This is a virtual intelligence, not a true AI. It's not self-aware, and it can't access any external systems. We didn't do anything illegal here. Virtual intelligence support is critical to our military success. VIs process thousands of status reports and react in nanoseconds. No human can do that. We need you to fight your way through the training ground of the VI core and manually disable it. I'm on it. Don't worry, Admiral. I'll take that thing out. I know Spectre's answer the council, but you're still human. You're still part of the Alliance military. And right now, we need you. That's fair enough. The VI controls all the facilities, weapons, drones, and automated defenses. You're the only one that can pull this off, Shepard. Good luck. Okay. I wouldn't say that's not hard to ask. Uh, did it tell me where? Is it Terra Nova? 
No? Where do we go for it? Because it's not here at all, is it? Ah. Uh. Uh. Is this another one? Are you serious? No, I'm... Okay, there's just, there's just bleeps on things that I'm not too sure what they are. That's fine. Huh. Where does it... Does it... Do I have my log? Oh... My goodness. Was there this many... Beforehand? Holy shit. Well, we definitely need to do some free roam. We definitely need to do some free roam. Uh, let's see what's in the Horsehead Nebula. Packs and Jesus, this game is huge. Packs, yeah, let's go to packs. That's so cool. But never got sold. That never gets sold. By the way, I'm sorry if I start like sweating or getting really hot. I'm also quite itchy, and as you can tell, probably quite red because I'm really badly sunburned really bad sunburn. It was 25 degrees in the UK today and like all Brits we feel like we're invincible to sun and therefore just you know all these planets look exactly the same. Right. Sivarog uh -huh. The only reason I'm skipping these is because I have read them. I have read a lot of them so Novaria. It isn't Novaria the various a mission, isn't it? We don't want to do that. Velis? Oh, we can survey. I haven't tried surveying yet, so maybe this would be worth it. Oh, Matriarch's writings recovered. Scans of the planet Velis revealed a small abandoned vessel. Your salvage team brought the ship on board and dismounted it, whereupon they discovered one of the Matriarch the Linga's writings. Hmm. Not sure exactly what that means, but that's cool. I thought there would be more to surveying, which is why I didn't do it in the last episode. Uh, okay, so there's not much on packs, uh, so let's go to uh, did, did, Strenus, right? Let's try Strenus. Apologies if this is a little bit boring for you, but I'm I'm discovering things. Okay, <laughs> I'm discovering things. So what's this? Shrouded by a thick atmosphere of complex hydrocarbides. Your foral has never been fully mapped. The surface is hot and completely covered by a global ocean of liquid hydrocarbons. There are indications of primitive volcanic life developing deep within the global ocean. That sounds extremely scary and not something I'm about. Your scan uncovered an ancient deep space probe slowly orbiting you in full. Tally brought it on board, dismantled it and found a league of one medallion hidden in its payload. Okay. I don't know what I do with those, but maybe they go to my inventory, I'm not sure. Ooh. Warning, level one cold hazard. Shawin has thin atmosphere of carbon dioxide and ethane. The surface is frozen and mainly composed of cobalt with deposits of copper. Planet side conditions are hazardous with constant ice storms wrecking the surface. Okay. What's this? Fessalagon, standard hydrogen helium gas giant. Fessalagon's atmosphere is tinted blue by trace quantities of methane. Okay. Okay. Trellin. Trellin is a lifeless rock with a trace atmosphere of xenon and krypton. The surface contains large amounts of iron and magnesium silicates due to heavily cratered terrain. Starships are discouraged from landing. A Solarian religious cult claims that a certain pattern of overlapping craters in the southern hemisphere resembles their goddess. Okay, so are there Solarian on here? I haven't checked out the codex yet. I am still going to do that. Let's survey this. Gas deposit survey. It scans from orbit have detected a large concentration of helium-3. Huh. Okay, so all those are more just history-based. Not to say that we don't visit them at some point, but certainly we don't yet. Uh, okay, let's go to Argos Row. What's this like? Hydra. I like the sound of that. Coming in. 
And that one. I was looking through the planets. Okay, so it's a level 2 heat hazard. I don't know if that's going to be a problem for us. I don't know if we need to change our... I feel like the lighting's a little bit off today. I don't know why, I do. I don't know why. I'm sure it's fine, but it just feels a little bit off. Um, right, so this is a level 2 heat hazard. Metgos is a large terrestrial planet with an atmosphere of carbon dioxide and nitrogen. Its hot surface is mainly composed of nickel. With deposits of potassium and heavy metals, it is a mineralogical treasure trove. With concentrated heavy elements constantly being brought to the surface by volcanic activity. Metgos is inhospitable and dangerous and expeditions must be well prepared to survive any length of time. It's high mass heat trapping clouds and constant volcanic venting. Metgos seems well on its way to becoming a Venusian pressure cooker world. Ooh. Okay. Well, that's land. <laughs> I don't know if I actually genuinely need to prepare. I don't know if that is just history on the planet. Uh, who do we take? I guess Tally and... Should we give Caden a go? Caden's the only one I actually haven't leveled or actually equipped anything on yet uh, let's take Rex again that seemed like a pretty strong squad last time and I'm I'm getting some shit in the comments for bashing on Rex a little bit so let's take him again let's take him again Tally and Rex they made a good they helped us conquer X57 conquer it will help save it okay oh right we're just going straight in are we I thought I would be given time to prepare on the ship just in case I guess as long as we don't leave the Mako we'll be okay level 2 hazard so if I leave are we taking some damage? ah I see okay that's an interesting okay what I do want to do before we do anything is start equipping these so I want assassination in one. Uh, I want that in two. Uh, actually, no. Let's do assassination in three. That in four. I want the overheats weapons in one, and I want the overload in two for now. And we'll bugger off the rest. Okay, perfect. That works for me because we needed those. We did. We needed those. All right. Let's see what we got around here then. So we're here. You got something here. You said right click. Oh, right click for waypoint. Oh, that's awesome. Thank you so much. Whoa, this is not good. Maybe you just can't actually prepare for these. It is very much just time restraint. Oh dear. Ah, you did tell me. Someone did say that I could change the actual gameplay controls with the Mako. How do I? How do I do that? Uh. How do I... How do I do... Hold on. I couldn't find the control, but apparently you can do it so that... Depending on where I'm aiming... You know, if I'm pressing W on the keyboard, I should always be moving forward rather than in reverse, depending on where I'm aiming. Where does he want me to go? Up this mountain? Surely not. There has to be a path. So, going by the distress message we just received, they became under attack by something, or the ship crash landed here? I'm not sure the reason as to why. This is not a great planet. Okay. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Let's just have a look here then. Uh, okay, corpse, right? Tyrian corpse, recover artifact. 
While searching the wreckage, you found a very old letter stamped with the Gophis Colony Insignia. Unfortunately, the text is indecipherable. Well, let's read. Let's get into the codex. Let's have a read. Oh, my goodness. I don't know what I discovered there. I did try to look in my codex, but I can't I can't seem to find anything. It's in my journal, maybe? Oh, I've got a lot of flashing. Awful lot of flashing. Assignments. Uh keep searching until you have all the lost insignias. I don't think that's necessarily... Okay, I can't find... Yeah, this... ah, here we go, yeah. You received a distress call from a downed med ship located in the Hydra system of the Argos Row Cluster. Yep, I did. Investigate it. Okay, I guess there is literally nothing else in my codex, weirdly enough. Fine. Whatever. Debris. Okay. Let's go there. Ooh, a bit of lag there. Huh? Oh, hold it. Oh, there we go. I don't like the um, the bassy background. Like I get that it is probably meant to sound like that, but okay. Why this is very laggy? I don't know why. So there should be some debris here. Is it noticeable debris? Or are we talking a little bit of debris? I imagine if it was a med ship, it's got to be pretty... pretty noticeable, no? Man, the controls for the Mako are incredible. I'm not bashing them, but it's just I'm not used to this way of... like it moves with depending which way you face the camera. Apparently you can turn it off, I can find the setting. So what, down here? Down here, right? Oh yeah, okay. That's the med ship? That can't be the debris, surely. I guess it's obviously torn up what's going into orbit. Let's have a look, what is it? Can't be out here long. Crashed probe, salvage. Begin manual bypass, yup, yup, yup. Incendiary rounds. Ooh. Okay. Incendiary rounds. I could use that on my sniper rifle. I like the sound of incendiary rounds. 14 damage. What have I got on there at the moment? What have I got at the moment? I don't know. What have I got at the moment? Does it not tell you about click? Ah. So I've got shredder rounds. 30% damage versus organics. Incendiary rounds consist of a thermite paste which clings to and burns through nearly any known substance. 14 damage per second for 5 seconds. That's, ah, minus 14 accuracy. No, we, we won't take that then. Um, what do you guys think? Alright, and you? Okay, guess we're moving out. Fair enough. You guys are full of, full of talk. So was it just pointless coming here? Well, it's not pointless because we're going to learn some stuff, hopefully. Have I missed an update for the game or something? Has there been an update that I'm not aware of? Because di- Well, well, this isn't the quality of the video you're watching. It is actually happening to me in game. It's very laggy. Maybe the planet is just laggy. I don't know. Maybe Legendary Edition has some kinks. <laughs> Maybe. That looks like a trap. Ah, if there's going to be an awful lot of wreckage, this wide open space will be where it is, surely. Yeah, oh yes. Oh yes, there is some stuff. I don't know what the little Dragon Ball sign is. <laughs> I don't know what that's all about. What is that all about? It looks like the signal's coming from that wreckage. What wreckage? So do I, slightly, but wrecks we've got. Oh no. 
Oh wow, oh. Jesus. Oh wow, they, what, they just came out of nowhere? Where's the others? Okay, this shouldn't be too much of an issue because we should be pretty invincible in this thing, especially against troopers. Oh, all I want to do is reverse, but the camera's not there. There we go. How are we doing? We good there? Okay, so it was brought down by the Gef. That's a shame. That's a shame. What have we got here? Anything? Anti-mine vehicle. Anti-vehicle -anti mine? Huh. Okay. Why is it so laggy? So what, is that everything? That can't be everything. That can't be it, right? According to the map, that, that is it, but I... I fail to believe that that is the case. What's this? Thorium deposit? We have to, de in order to survey, we have to decrypt something? Successfully surveyed a large deposit of thorium. Perfect. Oh. Oh, that's cool. It actually puts like a little light on it. That's awesome. Right. So. Where now? Is that, I mean, is that it? Is, is that, that's it, is it? That genuinely it? UN and distress call. Oh yeah, no, that's it. That is literally it. Okay, cool. Return to Normandy then. There we go. So obviously they just have little side mission stuff. Okay. Not that that's a problem. I was just expecting maybe a little bit more to that, but doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Uh, right, let's survey this one. So scans of the planet can room reveal a dangerous level of radiation coming from orbit. Chief Engineer Adams conducted further scans and discovered the remains of an ancient warhead marked with the Parthia Colony insignia. Hold on, I need to open a window. Two seconds. And let's read this because I, I we surveyed it but I don't think we've read it. So Canrum is a small rocky world with a trace atmosphere of methane and krypton. Its surface is mainly composed of magnesium and silicates with deposits of carbon. Canrum was the site of the warlord Shigur's defeat by Turian peacekeeping forces during the Krogan rebellions. Wow. While this band was not especially powerful, Shiga was a, fema was a female warlord and one of the few remaining fertile females at that. She had, through viciousness and cunning, paralyzed her unique value into a position of power. Krogan males competed for the right to join her band and lie with her. When Shiga's death was announced, vengeful male Krogan's admirers near and far swore blood oaths against the participating Turian crews. In the end, several thousand Turian participants were killed in open combat or through assassination. To this day, many Krogan proudly proclaimed that they have the blood of Shiga. That's cool. That's cool. The fact that the genophage made their sort of, you know, their pregnancy rate or their fertility rate drop exponentially, and the females have taken advantage of that places of power, like to push them into like a warlord status or the top of a clan, and there's all these different clans with different fertilities and bloodlines. That's cool. That's super, super cool. Okay. Okay, so that was the Argos Row cluster. So let's go to. German, uh, I think Exodus is what? Well, Exodus is Asgard, yeah? Yeah, we've done those. Let's go to Gemini Sigma then. And this is what? Ming? Okay, let's try Ming. See what Ming's all about. Oh! I don't know what that's all about. We'll take a look though. World of Discharging FTL Drive Course. 
Medallion recovered. Scanning Altronok revealed something of interest in a debris field. Joker brought the Normandy in close, and a small team was able to retrieve some valuable detritus, including a League of One medallion. I don't know what these medallions are. I must have been told about them, but I don't know what they are. Light metal surveyed. Titanium? Okay. So, Parag is a large rock planet with an atmosphere composed of nitrogen and argon. Despite lying over 600 AU from Ming, its surface is scorching hot and mainly composed of aluminium. With deposits of silver, due to the radiation and heat, landing on Parag's sunward side with anything less than warship grade shielding will likely be fatal. Parag rotates at a retrograde to the rest of Ming's system, indicating it is likely a captured body. Interesting. So what is Ming? Is Ming the sun? Ming's gotta be the sun, right? This is... must be toxic. I bet this is horrible. Anitropos... Anitroprus is a hydrogen helium gas giant formed in the outer regions of Ming's system and is in the process of migrating inwards. In a few million years, the planet's atmosphere will begin to boil away into space. There is a sizable temperature difference between the side, the side of Antrop Antroprus facing the energetic blue giant, primary, and the side facing the cold of deep space. This variant powers massive cyclonic wind systems. The intense heat it absorbs from the sun, in addition to its own internal heat engine, causes the planet's dark side to radiate faintly in the infrared. The history in this game is ridiculous. So what is this? MSV Warvington. The Warvington is a co is a colon class modular conveyor of human design, configured for mixed freight and passenger hauling. The ship to be to be in a shutdown state. The main thrust is a cold, and it is adrift off the orbit of Antro Antroprus Registry, the Morrison Company, Shanghai, Shangxi, Shangxi. Sorry. Right, let's board. Let's see what this is all about. Everybody good? How we feeling? Feeling good? Feeling good? You don't want to talk? All good? Okay, everybody's good. Well, lights do seem to be on. Empty. Most of the systems are shut down. It's just running on basic life support. Well, I mean, the lights are on. Albeit, the flashing red normally means an error state. Uh, okay. Let's arm up because I'm not too sure about this at we all. Not. We are not alone. Are we not? What do we think? Insects? I don't think it could be Gef. Whoa! Oh, Jesus enough. Christ! Holy fucking Christ! Place to be a trap. Oh, let's get the crap out of me. Let's get the crap out of me. Well, something knows we're here. A functioning object. Kinetic stabilizer? Okay. So what? Get away from those basically or blow them up before we have a problem? S hmm. I'm not sure about this place, I'll be honest. Medical computer? Well, there is someone here. Okay. Uh, lots of nice stuff. Yeah, can we take a look Jake at this? not going to make it. His brain was deprived of oxygen for too long. There's nothing any of us can do for him now except let him die with dignity. It's what he would want. I'm more worried about Julia now. She's showing signs of severe depression. I gave her some meds that should help, but I better warn the captain. Right. So are you... You are breathing. That machine's keeping him alive. I'm not seeing any brain activity on the readouts. He's dead. This body is just an empty shell.
Ah, uh, well, why would I just go and turn it off? It's not our power. We're not being charged for it. <laughs> what the hell? Uh, well, we can't help it. Can we help him? I don't. I, I don't like those two options. I guess we can't. Maybe help we him. should shut the machine down. It's the merciful thing to do. It's your decision, Shepard. But maybe we should wait until we know more about what's going on before we do anything. Yeah. Yeah, I, I agree. I agree. Okay. Arm up, people. Don't want to be caught with our pants down. Oh. So where has all the crew gone? Jacob is showing no signs of brain activity. There's nothing more we can do for him. He wouldn't want to be kept alive by machines, so we're going to disconnect the life support. Dr. Smith is worried about Julia's reaction, though. She can't seem to let Jacob go. The stress is making her implants flare up, causing intense migraines. It'll probably be easier for everyone if we don't tell her until after we shut the life support down. Give her a chance to... Julia, what are you doing here? Why are you... Huh. So does she have the same implants as Caden? But it's obviously experiencing. Uh, why are you looking at me like that? <laughs> it's obviously experiencing the, you know, the the worse side effects of those. What were they? Tier two um, implants or something like that? They're like old ones, right? And they had loads of side effects, bad side effects. Caden, thankfully, only gets migraines. But Julia obviously doesn't. She gets a lot more, which may have caused her to turn violent. And I imagine kill or capture everyone on board to save the one she loved, which is Jacob. Am I on the right track? I feel I am. I feel I'm nearby. But that doesn't explain where all the crew are, unless she's thrown them out of the airlock which she might have done keep it clean it's something I would do don't want it smelling I don't know if you if it smells in space when sign goes off I would imagine it probably does do things go off in space that's another thing they say Jacob's gone they say his brain isn't functioning anymore and they want to shut off his machines but Jacob's the only thing in the world that matters to me I don't know how to help him and it's tearing me up inside I just feel so helpless so damn angry. Mm. Dr. Smith gave me some meds to calm down, but I didn't take them. I can't. Not until I figure out a way to help Jacob. I won't give up on him. I won't. Okay. Oh. Take cover! Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, that's a shame. That's a shame, though, Rex. Do you not agree? That's a shame. That shouldn't have been. Ah, oh, no. I have something in my codex about that. Do I? Do I? I mean, it says codex, but I, I can't see. I actually see anything in here worthy of. I'm gonna need to go through all this with like a fine tooth comb. I'll, I'll do that in my own time because I think that's going to be better. Um, what assignments? Yeah, where? Uh, homecoming. Haven't we just done this? Reporters request strange transmission? Head to the century system in the Hawking Eater Cluster. Biotic Commune. Ah. Okay. So is that it for this place? I guess it is, isn't it? Well, let's go and shut off that machine. It's not fair to keep him doing his thing. You did the right thing, Shepard.
He is still moving though. Uh, are you still moving? You are still moving. I guess that's a glitch. Oh, that was a mistake. Oh, is that a grenade? Did I do that? It wasn't a grenade. Int oh, it was a grenade. I don't... Okay, I don't know. Alright, well, let's get back to the Normandy then. I don't know if there is anything else here. Maybe there is? I think we are now alone, so I'm quite confident just walking around with no weapon. I think it's going to be more of a loot thing, right? Oh. Fusion containment. Ow! Yeah. Clearly not. Ow. I know what you're saying, guys. I know. Before you comment anything, yes, I could shoot them. But this is... <laughs> this is easier. Okay, I don't think there's anything else for me to look at here. So let's go back, I guess. How do we go back? Do we not go back? How do we leave? Ah, airlock. Okay. I think that's it. We knew what happened there. That's a shame. That's a shame. But I think we got the gist of what was going on there. But yeah, I, I imagine it's something to do with the, the level 2. Still asking me to board it, but I think, I think we are done, no? I think we are. They must have had, yeah, those tier 2 implants or the... But were they phase 2 implants or something like that? They were definitely the second edition implant that was causing all types of problems. And Caden's lucky he only gets migraines. Okay, Hades Gamma. Let's see what's around here. So this is the Antaeus system. I don't know whether a lot of the surveying I should just do like myself. Um, I don't know if you guys need to come along with a ride on that one. You're more than welcome to. I can keep it in the edit if you want me to, but... Ooh, what's this? Trebin is a modest terrestrial world with an atmosphere composed of nitrogen and argon. Its surface is mainly composed of nickel with deposits of silver. Trebin's environment is relatively mild, but the scarcity of water or similar enabling substances has prevented the development of any biosphere. Exogeny Corp recently performed a test impact of a single water ice comet into the surface. The first step of a long-term plan to thicken the atmosphere and introduce water to the environment. A survey team is on the surface monitoring the geological and met meteorological effects of the test impact. Most of the water released is still in the form of atmospheric vapour, but thick cloud banks have formed. There is every indication that this arid world will soon see its first rain. The survey's team progress has been hampered by frequent mechanical or computer failures in their GPS satellites. This sounds very, very exciting. Let's go and check this out. So they force and like an ice meteor to impact it to introduce water into the world? That's ridiculous. That is ridiculous. Let's see what's happening. He's just gonna throw me out on his Mako again. Ooh. I hope there's no problems here. Oh no. Oh no, wait, the debris could be the, um, the, what's it called? Ice Meteor. Yeah, this is a very arid world, isn't it? Very desert-like. Right, what's up here? What is up here? Recover ancient debris. 
ancient artifact? Turian insignia. There are no survivors. No signs of any survivors. The pod is empty except for a small tattered flag marked with the Nimines colony insignia. Right. Okay. Let's get moving. All right. Very laggy on these planets. I'm not sure why. Oh. Um. Um. Oh my. We are not. Please, please stay away. Please, for the love of. Very unmaneuverable. I mean, we've got it. Uh, I think. I think. We might not. Okay, alright. What? Kill the tentacles? I get that. I get that. That makes sense. Oh. Oh, oh. Don't look around. Don't turn around. Don't turn around. Don't turn around. Because if you turn around, you're dead. Because the vehicle will change its direction. Let's just not look. Don't look at it. Don't look at it. You'll be fine. Okay, where is he? You're fine. Oh, that's a little damage though. But you're fine. That's gotta be it, right? That's gotta be it. That was extremely unexpected. That was extremely unexpected. No wonder this world's lagging. They've got huge moors underneath. Oh yeah, let's go to the research base. I'm, I guess that the moors have... ...stopped every... ...every hope of water ever being on this planet by our research team. By our survey team, I should say. Oh my god. I was not expecting that. Oh. Lovely. Look at this. Look at this. Okay. How are we looking? Ah, oh, of course it is. Why would it not be? Why would it not be deserted? It does suck. According to these data logs, the survey team unearthed some kind of alien technology. Mm -hmm. Could be answers at the excavation site. Oh no. I mean, it's it's fair enough, isn't it? It is fair enough, like if you think about it. It makes sense for some of these planets to have alien life on them. And I know that's the most obvious thing. But I don't understand what we're doing trying to pro exoskeleton V? Okay. Uh, I should start probably turning some stuff into Omni Gel. Let's get rid of this marker and let's go over to the. Over there to the. Wait, what? Oh, wasn't there a research? Yeah, over there. Okay. Anything here? I think those are just silos, aren't they? Okay. Alright. Well, let's go and... Oh my god. There's got to be a way to change the settings on this thing. There has to be. 
I refuse to believe that there is not. Mako camera relative steering. Off. That's got to be it. Is it. Oh yes, no, that's so much better. That is exactly how I want it. Okay, perfect. Let's go and see what's in here then. Alright. Weapons up, ladies and gents. Let me just test this rifle. That's a semi-automatic, I see. Power's disconnected. What are you thinking, Rex? No, that is, that is smart. That is smart, okay. Oh. Tally, any words of wisdom? You lead, I'll follow. Uh-huh. Oh, are there going to be mini malls? It's going to be like small freshers, right? Ah, oh, it's Gef. It is Gef. Hold on. I don't think we have the right thing for Gef, do we? What have we got on? Equalizer. Organics, yeah, no, that's not going to work. Uh, toxic damage, yeah, let's take those for now then. Okay, perfect. There's a lot of them. What are husks doing? Ah. He must have unearthed some alien technology that turned them into mindless fanatics. Oh, really? Whatever they found, it's long gone now. Really? See, that makes sense. Doesn't look long gone to me, though. Just gonna put that out there. Ah. Uh, so they unearthed something and it turned them into husks in on mass. Oh, it's one of those orbs. Huh. Okay. Oh, oh. Keep that heat down. Just look how many there are. Guys, I can't help you if you're constantly oh, in my way. That accounts for all the Exogeny survey team. They were converted to cybernetic husks by devices similar to those used by the Geth on Eden Prime. How they came to be buried on a frontier world so far from Geth territory is a mystery. Ah. Yeah, they were. They were the same things as on Eden Prime. You're right. Okay. This is this is very strange. I thought they had to be impaled on these in order to turn into husks. So how are they... Hmm... Maybe we'll have to read the codex again in a second. Yeah, let's read it quickly now. Let's just have a quick look. Um, so non-sapient creatures After husks. The secure a location. They round up and impale dead and living bodies on mechanics. That's weird. Because obviously those are the dragon's teeth, but how was it able to turn them into husks? They didn't impale them. That's very weird. Very weird. More, more teeth, yeah, more teeth. Huh. 
Because surely we would start to turn, no? Just by standing near it or we would take some kind of damage, but nothing. Very weird. I don't think there's anywhere else for us to... There is debris. That's, well, yeah, let's check out the rest of this planet then. Might as well whilst we're here. Because there's... I, I, I guess there's no geth actually on this planet. So it's just relics that were dug up. That's crazy. And it's turned them into husks. And we would never have known. That's tragic. All whilst we're trying to search for rain on this planet. Oh dear. Ah, oh, there we go. Man, that is tragic. I bet they really wanted to see rain as well. I bet a lot of them were young, like, you know, scientists. Just eager to see what's happening. Oh! Piss be geth. I don't think these guys are going to do much damage, are they? There we go, okay. We clear? Oh, he was still alive. Are they geth? What are they? Are they Geth? Or not? Crash probe. He's getting harder and harder, by the way. There wasn't even that. The stuff in there wasn't amazing. Were they Geth? I don't know. I didn't actually get to see their name. I'm going to guess they were, but. Anything on this that I can do? No. Okay. All right. Well, let's finish up off at this anomaly, and then we'll go from there. I really hope it doesn't start to rain. If it starts to rain, I'm going to be really sad. I am going to be extra mentally, exponentially sad. The fact that the scientists like couldn't see it because obviously they've been turned to husks. That's heartbreaking, man. That's heartbreaking. Alright, well, let's see what this anomaly is. It's moving. No, it's not moving. Securing point. Um. What the hell? What's happened here? This is very strange. Transmitter tower? Oh, these are satellites. The device is transmitting tight beam signals into geosynchronous synchronous orbit. This disrupts the survey team's GPS satellites, causing them to crash nearby. Disable it then. Oh. But that's it, right? I don't think there's anything else we can do. I think that's just it. It's got to be. Huh. Okay, let's return to the Normandy then. Well, that is... That's heartbreaking. Absolutely heartbreaking. Okay. What other planets have we got? So... Hanidor was nothing. Edmos was nothing. We'll do one more planet. And then we'll head off. Because then I think we've got more than enough footage. This is obviously going to be a slightly uh, 
slightly shorter episode for you just because it's extremely hot here you can probably see me getting more and more hot as time goes by but hey Vemel is an enormous terrestrial world of mixed rock and ice with an atmosphere of methane and ethane its frozen surface is mainly composed of calcium with deposits of iron because of the noxious surface gases explorers are warned to use extreme caution let's have a look large deposit of uranium cool well that's good that's good okay where can we go now yeah what's this farinata let's see what that's all about we've got a situation that requires your expertise a group of fanatical biotics have kidnapped the chairman of the parliament subcommittee on transhuman studies they're afraid of sustained damage and is dead in space get in there and take them down what kind of resistance should i expect Biotics were seen loading equipment into the freighter. Expect traps and combat drones. Nothing you can't handle. What are the biotics asking for? They're L2 biotics, and most of them mm. are suffering major side effects from the L2 biotics. biotics, that's it. The subcommittee denied a request for reparations to all L2 biotics. Apparently they'd like the chairman to reconsider. Well, yeah, he should really change the them because it's causing so much pain on so many people. Would be my preference, but we must make it clear that these tactics don't work, Commander. Your top priority is to neutralize the biotics. Understood, Admiral. I'll see what I can do. I appreciate you taking the time, Commander. I'm sending you the last known coordinates of the freighter. Good luck. Fifth Fleet out. All right, let's go straight for that then. MSV Ontario. The Ontario is a Kowloon class modular conveyor, human design, so the same as what we had on the other one. <sighs> the same as what Julia was on, funnily enough. <sighs> oh man. Oh, there are already blips on my radar. Okay. There are an awful lot of blips. Awful lot of blips. Okay, 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 okay. By the way, I have equipped um, health regeneration into the armor in case you were wondering. This looks like it's gonna be tough. Kill the hostage. Oh. Oh, I should not have run in. Oh my gosh. What are they doing? They are really... Holy crap. Oh god. I need to use something. Hold on. We all good? Let's get some shields going. Okay, well we need to hurry. We actually did a pretty good job considering. Okay. Where's the map? Uh, he's probably... Okay, yep, we can make it there. We can make it there. We can make it there. What, two minutes? Two minutes? Two minutes? It's more than enough time. Way more time. Get in there. See how it is? You write letters and everyone ignores you. Force is the only thing people appreciate. So how about if I kill Chairman Burns and finish this charade? Please, I was trying to help you people. <sighs> I can't say I agree with Chairman Burns not lifting the L2 implants. We've already seen what it can do. Let's not do anything we're all going to regret. Why not? What have we got to lose? Since the chairman here decided that we didn't get reparations, we've got nothing left to live for. Well, I've changed my mind. Seeing you all, it, it, it's clear that you all deserve... You had your chance. Some L2s are nearly crippled from side effects of the implants, but you voted against reparations. Yeah, straight with you need Burns, I think. Think about this. Burns is the one man who can help you. Yes, if you release me, I can take another look at the reparations request. What? We're supposed to trust you? I would. 
Sure, you promise us freedom and say everything will be fine, but as soon as we surrender, you'll double-cross us. Oh, God. You promise us freedom. I'm not promising to let you go. All I'm saying is that Burns will take another look. Right, Burns? Absolutely. I had no idea that the L2 biotics were this desperate. If I'd known, the reparations will come. For whatever it's worth. I don't know. I, I think he might pull that trigger anyway. He's an L2. He might pull the trick. Oh. You're right. I don't want to die. Maybe something will happen this time. We surrender. Yeah. Okay. Thank you, Commander. I thought I was dead when they took me. I'll see to it that the reparations discussion is reopened. I didn't know they were so desperate. No, you probably, yeah. Then you weren't doing your job. The Fifth Fleet Cruiser will pick you and the prisoners up. Yeah, he should have known. Thank you, Commander. I thought I was dead when they did. He should have known. Because Caden's, you know, suffering with the same thing. Now, granted, it's just migraines, so it's not too bad. Thankfully. <laughs> but, uh, obviously, Julia, on the other hand. Yeah, that was, that was a tragic situation. Well, hopefully this is going to pave way for... Not easier missions, but maybe we won't have to deal with so many L2s. Because I feel bad for killing them. Because they're not, it's not tec technically their fault, right? What the fuck? I thought I did that. Let's try it again then. I had that. Very nice. Okay, right. Well, let's get back to the ship. I think that is the entire ship anyway, isn't it? Yeah, it is. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that is all I have time for today. It is extremely hard. Uh, I thought I would obviously record something and get it out to you guys. So I honestly, I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, obviously put some time into it this evening to do some stuff. It's quite cool that a lot of it, bar the husks, has kind of stayed on the same kind of, um, on the same path, all to do with the L2 biotics which was interesting uh it would have been nice to try and help julia but i mean she she didn't want to listen she didn't want to listen at all um maybe if we had done this first maybe that would have changed the outcome who knows who knows maybe i'm looking too far into it and expecting too much expecting too much but thank you very much for watching i hope you have enjoyed this episode and um, as i say i am going to speak to a lot more people i am going to do a lot more in terms of mass effect uh in terms of, like the speaking with people side quests exploring and looking around i think we we've done quite a lot today we've done quite a lot um, i must surveyed quite a few things got a lot of medallions and talismans and bits and pieces i'm not too sure what they are insignias stuff like that um but yeah, no, this has been this has been fun as always. This has been fun, but obviously going to edit this now, get this out to you tonight as well. Hopefully you enjoy, and I can't wait to see all your comments. Uh, as I say, I will try to I will try to reply to them uh, as much as I can. It's getting slightly difficult because there are a few that do have slight spoilers in them, uh, and I get that. Obviously, you guys are excited. You know, I get that you guys want to let me know and educate me on the matter, and that's fair enough. But I think from now on. Obviously leave a comment down below exactly how you're feeling and of what you want me to see but I'm going to have someone read the comments first and tell me what I can see and what I can't see. Okay so uh, bear that in mind when you are leaving the comment. I will at least acknowledge them so I'll at least leave a little heart on them otherwise uh, yeah I will obviously reply but yeah thank you very much for watching. Hope to see you in the next one. Hope you've enjoyed and I will see you very very soon. Take care all and bye bye.